Hey, 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 it's a beautiful day. Just because we've got to stay at home doesn't mean that our minds can't roam. Back to all the people that we've ever seen. Back to all the places that we've ever been. Back to all the songs that we've ever sung. Back to all the things that we've ever done. Hey, 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 it's a beautiful day. Just because we've got to stay at home doesn't mean that our minds can't roam. Yay! We're learning those words now, aren't we? And it's still April. April, April, rain and sun. April, April, spring has come. April, April, Easter's no more. April, April, we'll have to sing some more. Are you ready for a story? Good. Today's story is about a very old donkey. Once upon a time lived an old donkey on a farm. He had worked hard all of his life, but now he was too old to carry things and the farmer didn't want him anymore. So the donkey decided to go to the big city. But what could he do in the big city? I know, said the donkey. I've always wanted to be a singer in a band. I will go to the city. On the way, he met an old dog. Hello said Donkey. What are you doing? My owner doesn't want me any more, said the dog. I am too old to hunt with him. Hmm, said the Donkey. I am too old to carry things. That's why I'm going to the city to make a musical band. Why don't you come with me? How's your voice? Oh, my voice is just fine, said the old dog. And so they went together. And then, on the way, the dog and the donkey met a cat. Where are you going? said the donkey and the dog. Oh, the cat said, I am too old to catch mice. The farmer doesn't want me any more. Well, said the dog, we are going to the city to make a musical band. Do you want to come with us? Oh, yes, please, said the cat. And off they all went together to the city to be a musical band. On the way, they met a rooster. Where are you going? said the dog, the donkey and the cat. Oh, said the rooster, the farmer's wife says that I am too old and now she wants to make me into soup. <gasps> said the dog, the donkey and the cat. That's terrible. We're going to the city to make a musical band. Why don't you come with us? OK, said the rooster. That sounds fun. They walked a long way. The city was a very long way away they decided to sleep in the woods. But it was quite dark and scary in the woods and they didn't like sleeping. The rooster climbed up into a tree and said, Hey, I can see lights from here. <gasps> Maybe it's a house, said the cat. Maybe it's a house with food, said the dog. Let's go and see, said the donkey. When they got to the house, Donkey looked through the window and saw that there were four robbers. They knew they were robbers because they had bags of gold and big knives and they weren't very nice. But they were eating a delicious dinner. So, what can they do? Well, Donkey jumped up at the window and then Dog jumped onto Donkey's back and then Cat jumped onto Dog's back 
and then Rooster jumped onto Cat's back. And that's when they decided to scare away the robbers. The donkey said, hee-haw! The dog said, woof, woof! The cat said, meow! And the rooster sung, cock-a-doodle-doo! Well, the robbers were so scared that they ran away. And the rooster and the donkey, the cat and the dog, all sat down to eat their dinner. But sooner or later, one of the robbers came back to get their gold. It was very dark. He climbed in through the window and knocked over a pot. <gasps> well, that woke up the cat. It woke up the dog. It woke up the donkey. And it woke up the rooster. The cat scratched that robber. The dog bit that robber's leg. The donkey kicked the robber and the rooster went cock-a-doodle-doo. The robber ran away. He went back to his robber friends and said, Oh my goodness me, don't go back to that house. There is a terrible monster. He scratched me, he bit me, he kicked me and he made a very strange noise. Cock-a-doodle-doo! <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? Well, the donkey and the dog and the cat and the rooster never did go to the city. They just stayed in that house and ate all the food and they were happy ever after. Good. Are you ready for an activity? We're going to make some moon sand. Woo! Okay, so let's go. Okay, we're ready to make moon sand. We're going to need a bowl. We're going to need half a glass of oil, cooking oil. We're going to need a little bit of bicarbonate of soda and the magic ingredient, corn flour. Mummy will know what that is, corn flour. And some colouring if you've got it. I've only got black. You might have lots of different colours like pink, purple, red, green. It can be anything you want. And I've got some gloves here which I am going to put on today because I don't want black fingers. So first job is put on your gloves which is quite difficult. Five fingers, gloves. Okay so moon sand. It's a bit like play-doh. So what we're going to do is, first thing, is your corn flour. You see how much there is. I'm just making a little bit because I didn't have very much corn flour. But the, um, you, so if you use this much corn flour, then you have to use the same amount of bicarbonate of soda, okay? So if you decide to use a whole cup of corn flour, then you need a whole cup of bicarbonate of soda. So I'm just putting in my corn flour into my bowl. Give it a big bang, 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 bang. Get it all out. Then I'm gonna put in my bicarbonate of soda. Bang, bang, bang. Get it all out. Now I'm going to add a little bit at a time. Don't pour it all in. A little bit at a time of oil. And now I'm gonna put in my coloring, my black coloring. Just a little drop. Whoop! That was a big drop, wasn't it? Silly Lou! And now I'm going to take the oil and a spoon and I'm going to start mixing it up. And we want it so that we can squish it together with our hands. The more oil we put in, the softer it's going to be. Mix, 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 mix. Ooh, mine's come out grey, isn't it? That's because black and white makes grey. If I put in more colouring, what would happen? What do you think would happen? Do you think it would go lighter or darker? Let's try. A little splash. Mix it up. Ooh, it's going darker. Mix it, mix it, mix it. 
Okay, there we go. I don't think I want it any softer than that. Take it off the spoon. And it's lovely and squidgy. Watch. So we can make anything we want. I'm going to make a big squidgy tower. Looks like a volcano, doesn't it? Let's put a hole in the middle. Maybe I put too much oil in here, it's quite soft. If you put less oil, it'll be a bit harder. But it's great fun. And squish it, and splodge it. And yep, I think I definitely put too much oil in there. It's supposed to be a little bit harder so that you can actually build things out of it, but no mind. Some experiments just don't go right. <laughs> but I like squidging. Ooh, ooh. Now, if I didn't have my gloves on, do you think it would make my fingers black? I think it would. So I think that was probably a bit of a disaster experiment. <laughs> so I think maybe you need more corn flour, more um, bicarbonate of soda and less oil. Oh, I don't know. It's going quite hard now. Whoop! See how long? One, two, three, four. <laughs> See how long this one takes to fall. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Whoop! It's definitely getting harder. Okay, moon, moon sand, moon mud. <laughs> Have fun with that, guys. Gorilla says, will you play hide and seek with me? Please. Okay. You count, close your eyes, and I'll hide. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. Hmm. Where's Gorilla? Is he in the chocolate egg? Nope. Is he by B? Is he behind the B? No. Is he on top of the B? No. Hmm. Where's Gorilla? Where can he be? Anybody see him? <gasps> Where? On the television? Oh, yes. There he is. Found you, Gorilla. Okay, go hide again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. Hmm. Nope, he's not by the book. Or by the box. Hmm, where are you, gorilla? Can anybody see him? You found him! Yay! He's climbing the tree! Good job! Okay, go hide again, Gorilla. Gorilla wanted to hide outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. Where could he be? He's not on the grass. He's not under the dog. Where could he be? Climbing the wall? No. Maybe he's hanging up the washing. Ah, there he is. Helping me hang out the sheets. Found you, gorilla. Go hide again. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. Where's Gorilla? Hmm. Have you seen Gorilla Cookie? Do you know where Gorilla is? Can you give us a clue? 
He's over there. Hmm. Let's have a look. Can't see him anywhere. Oh, wait a minute. There he is. On the purple flowers. Found you, Gorilla. Hey, Gorilla, last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. Hmm. Is he with the dandelions? Hmm, no. Can't see him. Can't see him anywhere. Where is that gorilla? Ah, found you. He's on the old broken pot. Good game, gorilla. Thanks. See you inside. I like that game. Let's do a little bit of reading. Smiling is infectious. You catch it like the flu. Achoo! When someone smiled at me today, I started smiling too. I walked around the corner and someone saw me grin. I realised I'd passed my smile on to him. I thought about that smile and then realised its worth. One smile like mine can travel round the earth. So if you feel a smile begin, be sure to pass it on. So your smile can be given to absolutely everyone. Keep smiling, guys. Let's play the word game. So I'm going to say a word and you have to run up to your television screen and point to the right picture, OK? Right, let's do one that we did the other day just to get you into practice. OK, here are the words. You ready? Three. Three. Are you ready? Three. Did you point to this one? Then well done. Yes, it was three. Good job, guys. Next one. You ready? Pan. Pan. Which one are you going to run to? Pan. Did you point to this one? Good. Pan. Well done. Next one. Ready? Cup. 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 Which one are you going to point to for cup? That's right, cup. Good job. Next one, I'm getting good at this now. Bug, bug, bug. Did you point to this one? Good, bug. Well done. Next one. Is it this one or is it this one? Hat. Did you point to hat? Good, well done. Next one. Gosh, you're so clever. Hmm. Boot. 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 Well done. Boot. Good job. Next one. Sheep, sheep, yes, 
I'm saying sheep. Very good. Hmm, this is a new one, okay? Mm me. It's a long E sound. Mm me. That's me. He. He. He is wearing a green t-shirt. Me, an orange dress. He is wearing a green t-shirt. Me and he. Are you ready? Me. Me. That's right. Me. He. Okay, see if you can remember. I'm going to show you the pictures and say one of the words. Me. Me. Well done. Now see if you can recognise the written word. I'm going to say he. He. And if you said this one, then you were right. He. Good job. This one's got the same sound, but we write it differently. See. See. Well, that's the same word, but it's not spelt the same way. Maybe they're two different words. Yes, they are. C is the C here, look, with a little boat and a little starship. And C, we look with our eyes and we see lots of beautiful things. C and C. So, if I say the word C, it could be C or C. We have to remember that the C with the boat is E, A, and the C with our eyes is E, E. Magic, huh? <laughs> Next one, you ready? Quickly, run to your television screen and point to the right word. Cat. Did you choose cat? Good. Cut. 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 We cut with scissors. Good job, guys. Good reading. All we're time for now is the goodbye song and you'll see some beautiful pictures again of all the things that you've been making and stuff. I can say goodbye, you can say goodbye, I can say goodbye to you, you can say goodbye to me, goodbye, goodbye to you. Bye guys. Bye.